Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us get into the Verilog. Let us see what is Verilog, why it is needed and how we are going to start coding with Verilog. First of all, Verilog is not a programming language. It is a way to code the hardware. Verilog is going to represent the hardware. So we call it as hardware description language. Here hardware in the sense, it is a digital circuit. So Verilog can be called as it is a textual representation of the hardware which we are going to describe in a coding method. And Verilog code starts with the keyword module and ends with end module. Here you can see a digital circuit. This digital circuit will be represented as a module in Verilog coding. And the name of the circuit if it is ABC, we are going to name the module as ABC. So module and ABC is the module name. That ABC module is ending at the end with the keyword end module. Now we have ABC as inputs here in the circuit and output is Q. In the code we are going to represent those inputs as with the keyword input and the name of those inputs A comma B comma C one after the other and output port is Q here we are going to represent that with output space the name of the port that is Q and after the module name we are supposed to list the input and output ports of the circuit which we are going to describe A comma B comma C comma Q are the input and output ports together we are going to list out after the name of the module and after the input and output declarations we are supposed to write the code for the logic so logic for sub modules to get the functionality of that circuit we are supposed to write after input and output port declarations and here input and output ports declaration we are going to do here by using input and output keywords and input and output port list we are going to write after the module name and whatever the list we are going to make at the first line we are going to use the same variables while declaring the input and output ports and types of descriptions or we call it as modeling styles in Verilog. We have four types of modeling or we can say there are four levels of modeling. One is behavioral description or behavioral modeling we say. Next one is data flow description and third one is gate level description and last one is switch level description. Out of these four levels of description, behavioral description will be called as a highest level of description and switch level description will be called as a low level description. Behavioral description as name itself says, we are going to write the Verilog code by using a C program constructs. Like we can use if else statements, we can use loops and also we can use other functionalities comfortably in behavioral description. In data flow description, whatever the logical expression we have, we are trying to implement the same in the Verilog code where we are going to use the operators. In gate level description, we are going to describe the circuits using gates such as basic gates and universal gates. In switch level description, we are going to describe the code in terms of transistors. CMOS transistors are going to be used. NMOS and PMOS are the keywords we, are, we can use in a switch level description. So that is the lowest level of description where we are going to use switches transistors are called as switches here and behavioral description is the highest level of description why because this level of coding corresponds to or relates to highest level of coding that is c language in the next video let us take an example of verilog code and write in all the descriptions are in modeling styles thank you